now it gives me great pleasure to award the first honor uh, for our working groups, our groups of global experts that you just saw in that film. A friendly reminder that all of these papers are available, um, <laughs> available out in the pre-function area and on gsgii.org. Our first honoree is Michelle Giddens for the Working Group on Policy. here to talk about creating a thriving impact investing ecosystem in our countries and that obviously takes a lot of players to achieve that. The job of the working group that I had the pleasure of chairing was to look at the policymaker. So what did we want to do? We wanted to help policymakers to easily see what tools they might use to build a thriving impact investing ecosystem and see if we could make it more efficient for them to learn from others. How did we do it? We spoke to uh, 20 uh, NABs um, around the world and to experts around the world, and we identified 15 key policy tools that are being used internationally, ranging from definition of fiduciary duty through to creation of wholesalers, creation of outcomes funds. So 15 key tools, which we then mapped in various ways to produce diagrams that show you what each individual country is doing and what the world of at least the GSG members looks like. What we hope that means is that we now have a toolkit that policymakers can dip into and see what they've already got in their markets, what they could develop and tailor to their markets, at what stages they should look at each of those 15 tools, um, and hopefully a quick and efficient way to share what else is going on around the world and tailor it for their countries. Um, so we're launching that tomorrow in a side group, and I very much hope some of you will be able to make it. Thank you. Uh, next, we'd like to call to the stage Lorenzo Bernasconi for the working group on creating innovative, um, in, innovative financing mechanisms. So as... Um Vice President Al Gore mentioned earlier this morning, the IPCC came out with a special report uh, warning the world that, as things stand, we're going towards a three-degree scenario, which is twice that which um, we agreed upon in Paris. And at the same time, we know that we still have a very steep mountain to climb if we're going to do, get anywhere near addressing the massive financing gap that still um, is needed for the Sustainable Development Goals. And the starting premise of our paper is that if impact investing is going to live up to its promise, and if we stand any chance whatsoever of addressing these global challenges, we're going to massively need to increase the number and scale of fit-for-purpose financing mechanisms, solutions, and products that both measurably contribute to solving the world's biggest challenges as well as meet the needs of mainstream investors. And what our working group has done is looked at this challenge through the lens of the value chain of the global financial services um, industry. So trying to take an approach of what will it take to match the impact economy, all the amazing entrepreneurs developing fantastic new solutions to the world's challenges, and linking it to mainstream finance so that we can really see a quantum change in the direction and size of investment going towards addressing the world's big challenges. And with that, I would also like to thank all the members of my working group and Caroline De Bruin for the amazing support in putting it together. Thank you. And next, we would like to honor the chair of the working group for widening and deepening the impact market, Dr. Rosemary Addis. Thank you, and thank you to everybody whose work has contributed to this. 
it's both a testament to an amazing progress that's been made in moving the field forward in the last few years and a clear statement of the significant work that's still ahead of us to scale that mountain that Lorenzo referred to. It brings together the GSG with the GIN and the UNPRI and the Global Alliance for Banking on Values and Leading Intermediaries and Foundations to set out the vision for what that impact economy that we've been talking about could look like. A roadmap for the system change that can take us there to a system that truly is in service of people and the planet and puts them first. And it includes navigation tools for different actors and to drive some of the catalytic work that's needed ahead of us to design new solutions and to make sure that they're resourced. And it's offered in service of many of you and of the others in the world who are out there working on the ground every day to drive this change in the hope and the sincere intention that it is within our power to be focusing on the levers and driving the change that can sincerely work uh, to ensure that we are delivering better outcomes and that the needs and aspirations of people can be met in a system that achieves social progress, environmental sustainability and economic prosperity. And we'd like to call to the stage the chair of the working group on building impact wholesalers, Cliff Pryor. Impact investing wholesalers, it's not the snappiest title, is it? However, they can speed up the development of your social impact in, uh, ecosystem, building the market, uh, capitalizing intermediaries, improving more people's lives through the enterprises that take that investment. Uh, two uh, impact investment wholesalers are already running. Three more are expected in the turn of the year. Um, another dozen now are in, in the frame uh, for the future in different stages of development. Every country is different. Uh, there is no single blueprint. So what we offer you is design choices and we offer you examples because you will have a different starting point, you'll have different goals, you'll have different sources of finance, you'll have different theories of change. So we can help you on all of those. But maybe more important than the report, way more important than the report, is the group that has come together and committed to long-term shared learning so that we can all uh, help more people improve their lives in disadvantage. Um, I'd like to say now that we are open to new countries to join the group. It's a continuing group. And I'd like to thank everybody who's contributed so far. You know who you are. Um, we have become a family. We've become a warm and feisty and inspiring family. And we will make the world better. Thank you. <laughs> Let's give one more round of applause to our working group chairs and their participants for their excellent work.